This is a video demonstration of how to control MiniCircuit's portable test equipment remotely over an Ethernet connection. The Remote Control RC Series has an RJ45 port for connection to an Ethernet network in support of HTTP and Telnet communications. This allows a wide range of control methodologies, including the provided MiniCircuit software, many third-party applications, and even through your own programming code. For this demo, we will be using an RCDAT 6000-90, which is a programmable attenuator covering 1 meg to 6 gig. 90 dB of attenuation range, settable in quarter dB steps. The first step to controlling these devices remotely is to check and configure the IP settings. To do this, you connect the USB interface to a PC and then run the GUI. Select the USB button and then the Ethernet button. This opens a page summarizing the Ethernet settings of the device. These devices support DHCP, which is Dynamic Host Control Protocol. This option is currently checked, so the device will be assigned its IP settings automatically by the network. This includes the IP address, the network gateway, and the subnet mask. The alternative is to uncheck DHCP and enter the details yourself on the right-hand side of the screen. In this case, we will use the auto settings, so click the box and make note of the IP address for later. That's 172.168.0.9 in this case. You can also choose a password to restrict access to the device. Click Use Password and enter the details below. We'll leave that unchecked for now. Don't forget to click Store when you're finished. Since we are not intending to control the device using USB, we can exit the GUI at this point and try other options. We'll start with the Internet browser. This process is not complicated. Open the browser and type the IP address at the top. That's 172.168.0.9 in this case, forward slash, and then the command to send. We start with MN question mark for the model name and then hit enter. The model name RCDAT 6000-90 appears in the browser. We also have SN question mark for serial number and then the commands to set and read the attenuation. To set the level, just type set ATT equals and then the value. We'll start with 20.25 dB and then hit enter. A1 is returned to indicate the value is set successfully. We can confirm that by using read attenuation. Type 172.168.0.9 in this case, forward slash read ATT question mark. The value of 20.25 dB is displayed in the browser. This unit allows up to 90 dB, so we can enter set 90 dB and read that attenuation as well. As well as HTTP communications, which is what the Internet browser uses to talk to a PTE, our device also supports Telnet. To demonstrate this, we can use Windows Telnet Client. Open the Windows command prompt and then type Telnet and then hit Enter. Make note of the escape character at the top, which is Control plus close square bracket. We will need this to exit our Telnet session later. To open our Telnet session, type Open and then the IP address of the device. And then hit Enter. A flashing new line character will appear to indicate that a session has been set up. And then you can send the same commands as we did using the Internet browser. The only difference is that you don't have to send the IP address every time. So we can type MN question mark to get the model name, SN question mark to read the serial number, and then set and read the attenuation. Type set ATT equals 17.5 and then a 1 is returned to indicate success. And then read ATT question mark to confirm that 17.5 dB is displayed. To finish, use the escape combination we saw earlier, which is control plus close square bracket. Many circuits also provides a simple GUI or graphical user interface for control. Instead of using the USB option as we did earlier, we can use the Ethernet control section over on the right hand side. You can enter the IP address in the box provided, otherwise use the magnifying glass. This allows you to search all models connected to the network and choose the IP address and click select. You then have the choice of either HTTP or Telnet communications. In both cases you go through the same GUI. 
You can adjust the attenuation using the scroll bar beneath or overtype the attenuation in the attenuation window. When you enter an attenuation, click Apply to set it. This concludes our brief introduction into various remote control methods. You can find further support, instructions, and examples on the MiniCircuits website, along with contact details for your area. We'd be happy to hear from you with any questions or comments. Thank you.